Hello and welcome back to KNF Design. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I try to bring a wide variety of different craft projects to you. If you ever have a craft project you would like me to show you how to make or just want to see me try to make it, let me know down below and I'll try my best to bring that to you. If you like today's craft project, make sure to hit those thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to me and it helps bring my crafting videos to more crafters like you. Don't forget to also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you don't miss out on any of our crafting fun. So with that, let's get crafting. This is a very popular wreath form to use from the Dollar Tree to make a fun fall themed uh, wreath for your front door. And surprisingly I have not done one yet. <laughs> so I have actually had this wreath for a few years and just kept putting it off but now I'm finally going to do one with you. And so the tag may look a little different because I've had it for a while. Um, I think I may do another one in the future because I saw another idea that was kind of fun. But for this one, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. The wreath we did last week, the sunflower, um, that one was a little bit more time consuming. So for this one, I want to make it nice, super easy, um, quick. So that way, if you don't have a lot of time to make a wreath, you can do this one. And who knows, I might have to pick which wreath to put up. Maybe I'll keep the sunflower for now, switch to my ghost cat Halloween one, and then go back to this one in November. We'll see. Um, so I think the traditional thing to do is wood beads. And I do like the wood bead look. I'm going to put them on each of the different layers of the pumpkin. Now, so I have been collecting wood beads and things, so I actually have two different ones. Both came from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they still have both of these or not. This one is a lot shorter, but the beads are a little bit thicker. This one is quite a bit longer. So there is the size difference. Um, I do like the little bit bigger ones, but for the amount you get, it's definitely more, more bang for your buck to get these smaller ones. It's about, about two and a half of these smaller ones is what you're getting. So I'm going to use these because I have three of them, <laughs> so that'll be enough to cover my pumpkin. This one little one won't be enough. I would probably need to have one for every section, which one, two, three, four, five, six sections. Um, that would add up from Dollar Tree. It might even be a better deal if you want to do the thicker ones to get them from Amazon. I have bought wood beads from Amazon before. This was just a nice variety pack. It does have some of those good sizes, but I mostly just have the tiny and the big. So again, I don't think I would have enough to do this size. But that's okay. I think these will still be fine. So first things first, let's cut off a tag. And I did notice one of my beads. Some of them will have like little spots on them. This is just the um, the wood itself. It's a little knot in the wood. There was a really big one in one of these. So just be careful when stringing them that I might take that one bead off and not use it. So. This is solid. How do we get the wood beads through? 
we're just going to have to cut each of these and then we'll slide the beads through. Um, we'll see if it holds its shape like that, how sturdy it is. Um, but I'll probably end up applying a little glue to reattach it once the beads are on. Do not do this outermost one though, because one, that'll just kind of blend in. No one will really notice that you didn't do it. And two, it'll kind of ruin the structure. You don't want to separate the bottom half and the top half and make it unstable. So we're only doing these, not the two at, not the, two at the end. Usually Dollar Tree metal is pretty easy to break off. I'm gonna get my bigger guys, just so I don't ruin these. There is a pumpkin, all of those are cut. It actually is a little bit harder of a metal than I expected it to be, so... Just a little bit more effort to get it. And now we're just going to cut open the um, beads and then slide them in. Just be careful that the ends that you cut may be sharp. still attached to the string. I'm just kind of, it's a little bit easier to feed them on while they're still attached. And then there's enough room that you can then just top, pull the string out. So that's a lot faster than what I was doing by hand. If yours come on the jute twine like this. So gluing the metal onto the metal, since it's such a small surface area, was getting a little bit troublesome. So I decided I filled the uh, strand all the way to the top with beads, but this last bead here, I glued it down. So I just put some hot glue down into that hole, that way they're not falling off on me. Then we're going to attach the wood bead to where it needs to go and that way it'll have a little bit more surface area to grab onto. Be generous with your glue because we're going to cover this up with some greenery. I used about two of these long strands. I had just a few beads left over my second one to fill this and this is really nice jute twine so we are going to use it to cover a stem later on so don't throw that away. You can reuse that as well. Now I'm just going to go and glue all these down and I'll get back with you. So here is what our pumpkin looks like so far. I applied lots of glue to those ends just to really make sure that they are good and secure. Um, just note that sometimes hot glue does get remelted when the weather gets hot, so just watch out for that. I think I'm going to use that leftover twine that our beads were on 
and I'm going to use that to wrap a stem. And then we'll apply some greenery to it. And I have this bow already done that I bought maybe Dollar Tree. I don't remember where it was just in my stash. And I mean, it's a pretty bow, so I might just reuse that. We'll see how it goes. And my greenery, I've just been clipping off with my wire cutters some strips of greenery. Um, it's a little thin, so I'll probably just you see where they attach, you can just pull them right off. And I'll add some more to fill those in. And this... I don't remember where I got this, but here's the tag. It might have been Joanne Fabrics, but don't quote me on that one. So... That is what we're gonna work on now. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late 
Here's our pumpkin. It can be all finished just like that. I think it's elegant, simple. I really like it. I am leaving the sides plain like this. I think it kind of just blends in and gets covered up and you don't notice it. But if you don't like this, you could take the jute twine, kind of like we did here at the top, and wrap the sides. You could do maybe a ribbon that has some lace on it would be pretty too, if you would like. Um, another thing you can do, this probably is not the best color of fabric, but it's what I have right here. Um, but you could either behind your pumpkin put a fabric and that just kind of does a whole different look to it all together. Turn your pumpkin over, trace the fabric on the outside here, and then just glue it on. You could even, if you had maybe like strips of ribbon, you could put the different ribbons in between our beads here, and you could do some different colored ribbons too. Do like every other, that could be pretty. And lastly, another idea for you. This is a welcome sign that I used from a different project and I would probably cut, take off this and this and then you could glue a welcome to the front of your pumpkin. Um, Dollar Tree also has some metal uh, woods that say like harvest. I think they also have a welcome. Those would be pretty as well on this and I'm I was sure I had some, but I cannot find them anywhere right now. Um, I have moved, and so I'm still sorting through my craft room here. So right now, I can't find them. I need, once I put things kind of out of boxes and in spots, I need to use my program my Notion template that helps me organize and know where everything is. But first off, I gotta get it all out of boxes first. <laughs> um, we did a kitchen, a bathroom remodel, and so that took most of my time. So now that we finished that, maybe I'll have time to start actually unboxing my craft room. <laughs> anyway, so here is the pumpkin. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple, I think. Sometimes simple is really pretty and elegant. Um, but let me know what you think, and I look forward to seeing what type of pumpkin you make. And some of those different, if you keep it simple like this, or add some of those extra suggestions I gave you. I had fun crafting with you, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.